Hello everyone, we are back with uh, Glen Velvet Reviews. Uh, I just ordered uh, from supplyhouse.com uh, yesterday and for four ninety five they shipped it and I got it the next day at one o'clock. Um, amazing service, hopefully everything is in there that I ordered. I didn't open it up yet but uh, to me that's amazing service uh, to get it the next day. I, I could drive to my local plumbing supply I guess and gets and get stuff but the pricing was pretty good too um, they're very comparable to my local supplier and if I don't have to drive you know 10 minutes 15 minutes to my local supplier and come back and I can get it the next day it's not that big of a deal uh, if you need plumbing stuff obviously for an emergency or something then you know you have to go wherever you have to go as quick as possible and get it then there's no playing around obviously but this was an emergency so I could have got good deals um, and I ordered it from them and got the best deal so because uh, I was able to wait. So let's open this up, see what I got. This is going to be for my maintenance on my uh, reef tank. This is going to be so I can run a water line over here to my sump pump. And this way uh, suck all the water out of my reef tank right there. And see the hose on the left? So I got the hose on the left right there and that's to suck the water. If you watched my other videos you can see how I use it. I suck the water out and it goes under my bed and then it goes to the sump pump. So I'm gonna want run a water line right to the sump pump so I don't have to play games anymore. So let's uh, open it up and see if they gave me all the stuff that I wanted. All right, so first one we got is the adapter. For my PEX. You're going to need this if you want to go from PEX copper to PEX. Uh, right here I got this little adapter. Um, I don't know the name brand. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully it's a good name brand. Usually you get Nibgo or Viega is what I've seen. Uh, I'm not sure what this name brand is. Um, oh, it says Nibgo. Okay, so Nibgo is a good brand. So this is going to attach to the half inch pipe. I'm going to pro press this on and then we're going to get a um, then we're going to put the PEX pipe on here, half inch PEX pipe. All right. So we got that. Uh, we got my uh, valve that we're going to use to turn the water on and off. I'm going to connect this to um, I'll show you what piece I'm going to connect it to. I ordered it, but I got a I got a, a ball valve instead because these are usually a lot stronger. Usually these are these are a lot stronger than getting just a gate valve. Um, the gate valves are um, what's it called? Uh, I don't like the gate valves. I, I I mess with them at my job in commercial applications and they break a lot if you use them a lot. And if I'm going to do a lot of water changes, I'm going to use it a lot. So you know every week I'm going to be using it on and off, on and off. Uh, in commercial, they use it every day, but I see them break. I always see the ball valves last a little bit longer until these get rusted out. Um, I've seen these things rust out at like, you know, 15, 20 years. So you get, uh, I'm going to have a long time for this rust out. But I got threading on here because I'm going to put it into the um, drop ear, as you're going to see. And then I have um, my little spout that I'm going to probably just connect a, because um, my shutoff is going to be here. So I'm going to not have pressure here anymore. So I'm probably just going to use a stainless steel um, line, uh, hose line, um, maybe washer machine line or something like that I'm going to use. So we got that for that. And then I got to run the pecs over so you're not bending the pecs all crazy. I got, um, I got a bunch of... Um, Yes, yeah, so that's half inch. So I got a bunch of elbows for, uh, these were pretty cheap. I got a bunch of them. I don't know what brand they are. They don't say, but I got these. These are the elbows. Obviously you need elbows because you're going to be uh, making turns. You don't want to bend the PEX line to where it's going to break or wear, and then it's going to just, you know, run out of water. Then you're going to have, a, I mean, you know, pressurize, and then it's going to, you know, wear on the gasket. Because PEX is a little bit, you know, I'm a little weary about PEX compared to the pop. Uh, you know copper you know so you, uh, I don't like to bend pecs and play games I like to use the right you know use the right accessories buy the right stuff and then you know make your connections how you got to do it so here's the drop ear 
I got right here. So this is this is a PEX drop here, half inch. So half inch is going to go into here, and then I'm going to bolt this to the wall. Hopefully, I can bolt this uh, very well to because I have paneling and um, sheetrock. So we'll go from there. You guys will see what I mean. So I'm going to connect this, and then I'm just going to screw this into here. See. I'm gonna thread it really well, and then I'm gonna screw it right into here, and then we're gonna have this come out of the wall just like this, and then this is gonna be my valve. So this is what it's gonna look like when it comes out of the wall, obviously. Um, it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna look like this when it's out of the wall, and then I can turn this on or off, like I said. I'm gonna tighten this up really good, and put it into the, my wall like that, and then connect this to, uh, this is gonna go connected to the um, Python siphon. So. All right, and then uh, last, lastly, I got my um, ball valve for um, half-inch piping. Hopefully, this is good. This does not feel like a Nibgo. I usually buy Nibgo or Viega, and the Nibgos are heavy-duty. Like, when you pick it up, you're like, damn, you can kill someone with this. It's heavy. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a big piece of, um, you know, copper, brass, or whatever they make this out of. This one doesn't feel as heavy duty, just to let you know. It was, this one was, uh, usually I buy the Nipco ones for around 20 to $30. This one was only $9, so you, uh, you get what you pay for. This is definitely half the uh, cost and probably half the, uh, hopefully it doesn't rust out on me. Hopefully this works and it doesn't rust out and I can easily put this in. I'll pro press this in and I'll use, um, you know, brackets and everything and hopefully this works out. All right, so that was my order from PlumbingSupplyHouse.com. <clears throat> that's everything I got. Hopefully that's going to work. We're going to install these pieces. I'm going to start installing some of them probably today because I'm impatient. My plumbing friend is going to come help me within the next couple days, but he'll help me run the PEX. I'll do the uh, copper by myself because I have the Pro Press, so I can do it. It's not a big deal. All right, so that's it. Uh, <clears throat> little review. <clears throat> Glenn Velvet Reviews. Uh, is out. You guys have a nice day. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'm always trying to put up updates and um, videos to, you know, help help you guys out with ideas and stuff like that. Just like I got ideas from other people, and maybe I'm giving you ideas to uh, do something on your own and, um, you know, put this plumbing stuff together and make something crazy and show me what what uh what some real stuff you can make. All right, so uh, that's, uh, that's it. And always comment, ask questions if you want to. Uh, I'll try to get to them as quick as possible. All right, enjoy. Bye-bye.